Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Polar Pro macro lens for the GoPro Heroes 5, 6, and 7. So let's go check it out. So I absolutely love to vlog with my GoPro Hero 7 Black. It has great image stabilization, it's small, it's discreet, and it's easy to use. But there are some problems with it, and one of them is that the minimum focusing distance is about 12 inches, so you can't really get up close to things to get detailed shots. And so I started looking for a solution. That's when I found the Polar Pro macro lens. I wanna see if this is gonna to work to solve that problem. So let's unbox this bad boy. We'll toss it on the Hero 7. Uh, black and we'll go out and test it and see how it performs. All right, so here is the lens here and uh, let's just take a look around the box. We can see here it says macro lens. It's for use with the GoPro Hero 6, 5 and 6. It also works with the 7 since the Hero 7 is the same size as the 5 and 6. Um, you can see here again on the back. On here it says it gives you 3.8 uh, magnification, 3.8x magni magnification. It says perfect for creative close-ups. Little photo there, some uh, contact information with their website. So yeah, um, let's see, there's a little tape. So let's go ahead and uh, open this bad boy up. So um, some of you guys have wondered what kind of knife I'm using. This, today, this time today I'm using uh, the uh, Benchmade Bug Out. So uh, if you guys are curious about that, um, and let's see, let's open this thing up and see what comes inside with it. So looks like we get a little card here. Looks like it's a filter use guide. And so there's that. There is a little, uh, looks like a little pouch that we can use to, uh, to put this in. So let's see if we can get this open up here and see what comes inside with it, what the pouch actually looks like. So yep, there we go. It's a little pouch, has some branding on there. So that's, uh, that's cool. And then we actually have the filter here. So we can do that. We can take it off and there we go. That's the filter. And one thing I like about this pouch, the pouch seems like it's made out of the material that you can use to actually clean this with. So it's sort of like a cleaning cloth slash, uh, you know, um, holder there, a little pouch to hold it in. So that is the filter there. So I'll have to go get my GoPro and uh, put this on and then see how this thing works. All right, so here we go. I have my uh, I have my GoPro now, and this is going to be the test here, is because I actually use my GoPro with a little uh, case on there, so that I can actually put the um, my battery on there. I mean my um, my audio adapter in there. So I'm going to see if this is actually going to fit over the case. If it's not, then I'm going to have to t end up taking it off, and I can see right now it is not going to fit, which means I'm going to have to take it out of the case. So we'll go ahead and we will uh, we'll take it out of the case and then we'll see how this fits onto, uh, onto my GoPro. So we'll get that out of there. And now we'll go ahead and see if we can pop this on there. And uh, yeah, it slides right on. So that's what it looks like with it on the case. I really wish that it fit um, with it inside of this little cage here because this is how I normally use it. I don't really wanna have to take this off every time I wanna use a lens, but um, it does fit right on there without that and uh, the, the original GoPro cage does not have this little lip around it. It just has, uh, it, the, the lens part just pops through. This is flush and it just pops through. So um, yeah, this is going to be, I'll have to do that. It's going to be a little bit of an issue. I'm not real happy about that, but let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead outside and, uh, and uh, see if this thing actually works for some close up action. All right, so I'm out in front of my place now. There's a little bit of a flower bed over here. So let's head over to the flower bed. We'll go ahead and point the camera at it without the macro lens. We'll see how close we can get. Then we'll put the macro lens on and see how it performs that way as well. All right, so this is without the macro lens. So let's go ahead and we'll move in a little bit close here. And I'm not sure how focused this is gonna be, but there we go. This is pretty doggone close right now. So it's probably out of focus there. But uh, let's go ahead now. You guys can get an idea of, uh, of uh, you know, how this feels the frame. But let's go ahead and put the macro lens on now and see how it performs. All right, so now I have the, uh, the macro lens on. Let's move in a little closer here. We'll see how this thing uh, performs. And there we go. We can see we're getting in close again. And now we can see if this is going to be in focus any better. So just from the back of the screen, it looks like it's doing a little bit better. But we'll see when we get inside, put this on the computer. But by then, you guys will be watching the final version of this and you'll know for sure.
Now this is another shot with the macro lens again, so we're going to move in a little closer, see if we can feel the frame, and there we go. That is with the macro lens on the GoPro, and again, this is the Hero 7 Black. Let's go ahead and take it off, and we'll just uh, reach around, slide that off, and there we go. We can see there, uh, we can try and see if it's still in focus or if it's not. So it's about the same distance. We'll go ahead and put this back on, slide this back on. There we go. We can see if it's giving us a, a sharper image there with filling the frame up. Now you may notice that in the corners here, over, uh, over here, they get real, it gets really soft. So that's just a consequence of putting another type of lens on top of this, on top of your own lens. It's not the best glass, but it seems like it's going to do a pretty good job. All right, so here is a penny. Let's go ahead and move down and see how close we can get with it, uh, where it's in focus or not in focus. I can see already that it's not in focus from here, but we'll back off a little bit. We'll see when it gets into focus. And uh, this way you guys have a little bit more of a point of reference. But let's go ahead now. We'll put on the Polar Pro uh, filter, the macro lens there. And now we'll go ahead and move down again. We'll see if we get it in focus a lot closer. So it does look like it's giving us quite a bit more magnification than when we had it before. And we'll take it off here. And you can see there it's very easy to take on and off uh, even while you're recording. So there we have that there. We'll leave this about there and we'll see if that's focused or not. We'll put the macro lens back on and there we go. And now we can see that we're getting it and it looks much, uh, much clearer much more in focus and filling the frame a bit more there. So there we have it. We can't get all the way in on it. It's not like we can go one to one, I don't think, but it does offer 3.8 X magnification. So it does help quite a bit. All right, everyone. So there you have it. That is a look at the Polar Pro macro lens for the GoPro Hero 5, 6, and 7. And as you can see, it does make a difference. It's not like having a true macro lens on a DSLR, but as far as your GoPro is concerned, it does help out quite a bit. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.